will now be retracting the gaseous oxygen vent arm. TLT, OTC, clear, caution, and warning, memory, verify no unexpected errors. Minus two minutes and counting. CLS is go for ET, LH2, pressurization. Sound suppression water system. One minute. Closing the liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves. Standing by for the handoff to Endeavor's onboard computers. T minus 31 seconds and the handoff has occurred. 25. 20. Firing chain is armed. Our suppression water system is armed. Go from eight to start. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, zero, and lift off for the final launch of Endeavor. Expanding our knowledge, expanding our lives in space. Houston Endeavor, all program. Roger roll, Endeavor. Houston is now controlling. Endeavor beginning to over onto its uh, back, the roll program underway as uh, Endeavour begins the heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. Three engines now throttling down as Endeavour uh, passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Approaching one minute into the flight. Endeavor, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Endeavor's three uh, main engines now back at uh, full throttle, all uh, three engines in good shape. Endeavor's already uh, traveling 1,300 miles per hour at an altitude of 11 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, now 12 miles. At liftoff, uh, Endeavour fully fueled, uh, weighed four and a half million pounds. It's already lost half that weight in propellant now, burned that weight. Next event is burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Uh, that upcoming here shortly at the uh, two minute three second point those boosters are burning eleven thousand pounds of fuel per second and standing by for separation of the solid rocket boosters
The onboard guidance system has done its job of settling out any dispersions introduced at booster separation. The uh, orbiter is now traveling 3,200 miles per hour, downrange 50 miles, altitude 37 miles. All systems in good shape. Three good uh, hydraulic systems, auxiliary power units, and fuel cells. The fuel cells providing electrical power to all of the systems. Endeavor can reach uh, a TAL site in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three are in good shape. Space Shuttle Endeavor sailing into fair winds on its final historic voyage. This view looking down the external fuel tank, uh, the orbiter there on the top, as uh, Endeavor continues to power its way into orbit, traveling 4,000 miles per hour, downrange 90 miles, altitude 50 miles, 3 minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. All three main engines still uh, looking in, uh, in good shape, hydraulic systems and electrical systems on board the orbiter. Endeavor, negative return. Roger, negative return. Endeavor can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure now, but all three are still in good shape, as are all of the other systems aboard the orbiter. Uh, quiet here in Mission Control as a team of flight controllers watches, watches over all of the systems. Four minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, Endeavor's traveling 5,500 miles per hour. Altitude now 63 miles, traveling downrange 186 miles, or about 335,000 feet in altitude. Environmental and Control uh, Systems Officer here reporting a good flash of apparatus system providing uh, cooling to all of the avionics equipment aboard the vehicle. Traveling into space on the forward flight deck is Commander Mark Kelly and Pilot Greg Johnson. Between and behind them is Flight Engineer Roberto Vittori. And rounding out the flight deck crew is Mike Fink. Endeavor, press to ATO. Roger, press to ATO. Endeavor can reach orbit on two engines should one fail at this point. However, all three are still uh, performing as planned. Down on the mid-deck of Endeavor, Drew Foistel and Greg Chamatoff. Foistel headed to the International Space Station for the first time. Vittori and Fink making their first voyage on the space shuttle after uh, flying to the International Space Station aboard uh, Soyuz spacecraft previously. <laughs> 